Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are doing a massive Costco haul today. These are my favorite videos to do, especially because you guys love them so much. The feedback on these is always amazing and I thank you guys so much for that. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I wanna know what are your favorite Costco must-haves. This is always how I find out new um, products to pick up on my next Costco runs. But I also would love for you guys to leave any prayer requests that you have down in the comments below. I pray for you guys every single night and I just want you to know your love and you have a friend when you come to this channel and that God loves you. Before we get into the Costco haul, I'm just gonna share with you really quickly what we're eating this week. You guys have seemed to love to see my meal plan. Just a quick little 30 second rundown of that. So let me show you. Before we get onto the meal plan, I just wanted to tell you, I am returning this brawn trimmer. Um, so in case you were thinking about getting it for your man, Derek hated it. So <laughs> just had to let you know. Here are our meals for the week. For breakfast, we are doing oatmeal or breakfast burritos. I really don't tend to buy too much stuff for breakfast or lunch. We kind of just make up what we've got. For lunch, we have leftovers, nachos, and chicken nuggets. And then for dinner, we have steak fajitas, chickpea taco bowls, Cajun chicken pasta, chili, homemade chicken nuggets that you make with like potato chips, stuffed peppers, potato skins, and orange chicken just walked in and saw this and I thought how cool this is called the shark wand vac it's a cord free handheld vacuum you can see it right there it looks really slim so maybe you can get into like smaller areas with it but I'm thinking this would be great for your car which they actually show it right here so like if you like to keep a vacuum in your car or at least one that you don't have to plug something in and then like be close enough to your garage in order to use it. I feel like this would be a great one. It says it has a one touch empty and a really sleek charging base, which this is the charging base right there. And it actually has a pet tool as well, which is awesome. So 90 bucks for that. I feel like that's not bad. And we actually own a shark vacuum. We have owned it for years and I love it. The, sh the suction on it is still incredible. Y'all know we talk about food here quite a bit and they have a Ninja Foodie here. I don't know that I've seen this here before. It might be somewhat new to them. Of course, this deal ends on 1224, but I'm assuming they will still have the Ninja Foodie in stock. This is a pressure, cook pressure cooker, but also an air fryer in one. And had this have been out back when I was buying like my air fryer and stuff, I would have just bought this because it does everything in one. You only need this one appliance instead of having multiple of them. You can do pressure cooking, you can do air frying, and you can do what they called tender crisping. So pressure cook to lock in juices and then finish with a crisp. I've actually heard really, really great things about this one. I've never tried it myself, but looks amazing to me. So it's on sale for 120, usually 150, which I still think is a great deal because again, you don't have to buy more than one appliance. I'm over in the snack section looking for snacks for Logan. And these are not ones that we can eat because they're not gluten-free, but I wanted to share them with you anyway. They're called Nature's Bakery Fig Bars. They come in three different kinds, 12 of each. There's raspberry, blueberry, and original fig. And they look really good to me, kind of like a really soft granola bar. But what I love is that they're plant-based. And even though they're not gluten-free, they actually have some amazing ingredients on the back. So I don't know if you can see these ingredients right here. They've got some great ingredients. So you get 36 of them for just under $12. I don't know if you guys have ever tried these before, but I have tried the version of these that is just like their coconut nuggets. They're not covered in chocolate, but they were really, really good. I was actually very surprised because I'm, I'm not the biggest coconut lover, but these have really great ingredients. They're organic. You get 18 ounces of it for just under $10. I feel like this would be a great treat for Logan, especially because it's dark chocolate, not milk chocolate. So it doesn't contain milk. It doesn't contain wheat or any of those ingredients. These are the ingredients right here. You can see it contains a lot of coconut. So if you're allergic to coconut, definitely steer clear, but it also has a lot of great seeds in there as well. But I just want like some new snacks on hand and I feel like that will be a great one. They also have these guys here. They're called Jojo's. Um, I've heard quite a bit about these, but I've actually never tried them. The one that they have here is called the original and basically it's just like a chocolate bar but it's supposedly guilt-free chocolate so you're getting 16.8 ounces of for under ten dollars um it says it has 14 bars in here and they feel like they're a pretty good size it's hard to really tell but on the back it does contain almonds and pistachios in case you're allergic but it has great ingredients as well they're a little harder for Logan to eat, so I think we're gonna skip them this time, but I feel like that would be a great option if you are looking for something a little sweet, even like after dinner or anything, these would be awesome. 
If you are looking for a really, really great granola bar, this might be the one for you. It has incredible ingredients. You can see all of the ingredients right up front here. That's all it contains. As you can see, here's the ingredients on another box and they match up. So um, I have seen this brand in just like straight granola down the granola aisle, but I didn't know that they made a little bar. So we're gonna skip this one <laughs> just because I think they might actually be too hard. I can't tell if they're soft or hard, but I think they're gonna be too hard for Logan. But if you need some kind of great grain-free, so that means gluten-free and everything like that, um, granola bar, you might love these. You get 16 of them for just under $17. And for good ingredients like this, that's a great deal. They do have regular like Welch's fruit snacks here. So in case your kiddos love these and you need some like prepackaged things on hands, I know that makes it so much easier, especially when you've got a kiddo melting down because they're hungry. This is the Welch's mixed fruit fruit snacks. It comes with 90 pouches in there. And for 90 of them, you get them for just under $11. But if you're looking for something maybe more organic, maybe with a little bit of better ingredients, um, I'm actually gonna pick some of these up today and see if Logan likes them. They're called the Pure Organic Layered Fruit Bars. It comes with pineapple passion fruit, strawberry banana, and raspberry lemonade in there. I don't think I've ever tried the raspberry lemonade, but regardless, these are organic. We've tried them before and they were pretty good. Here are the ingredients on the back. I love that there's no high fructose corn syrup in there, no synthetic colors. I love that we really try to steer clear of all the synthetic colors, as you guys know. And you get 28 of these in there for just under $12. And then right next door, they also have these Stretch Island Fruit Leathers. So there's zero grams of added sugar in here and they are gluten-free, which is amazing. You get 50 of these fruit leathers or fruit strips, whatever you wanna call them, for 1050, which is awesome, I feel like, because these guys can get kind of pricey. You get cherry, apple, strawberry, grape, raspberry, and apricot in there. If you're a mango and a chocolate lover, you might love these. I love both of them. <laughs> I am not gonna pick up a bag of these today, but uh, they might be on my list for next time. These are called the dark chocolate covered mangoes, and you get a just under 20 ounce bag for $10. And it's basically just like dried mango covered in dark chocolate. I feel like you can't go wrong with that. I'm not sure. Uh, it does contain milk, egg, and tree nuts, just so you know. But if you're not looking out for any of those things, this might be a really fun snack and it's gluten-free. If you've never tried these cashew clusters, they're actually really, really, really good. I think they've had these on the shelves for years because I used to eat them back when I was in high school. They are by the brand Kirkland, which is just Costco's like home brand and they're made with almonds and pumpkin seeds. They're like a harder treat to have, like kind of like hard like a granola bar, if you can see that. Here are the ingredients. You've got cashews, almonds, cane sugar, pumpkin seed kernels, rice syrup, sea salt, and honey. So really great ingredients as well. You don't have any added colors or anything like that. They're really great to just take one or two of these in your hand on the go, especially if you're running out the door and you get 32 ounces of it for $9.59. This is definitely not allergy friendly by any means, but I used to eat this before I had any kind of allergies to look out for. And this is by the brand Wild Roots. It's a coastal berry trail mix. And let me tell you guys, if you have never tried this before and you don't have allergies, go out and try and find this right now. It's so incredible. I lived off of this stuff right after I gave birth to Logan. I was having a really hard time finding things to eat that I could get quickly. Um, and so I literally just kept bags and bags of these by my bedside table. And I just grab a handful while I was nursing because in those first few weeks of nursing, you're gonna be starving. So 26 ounces, 9.69, and you get this bag. It's got almonds, cashews, cranberries, yogurt chips, and blueberries, and I loved it. I also got another one by this brand. They used to carry a couple of them here. Still incredible. If you're looking for something without the yogurt chips, maybe you're trying to avoid milk like we are, this is by Nature's Garden. It's called the Omega-3 Deluxe Mix. It comes with um, walnuts, almonds, cranberries, pepitas, or like pumpkin seeds. Um, and I think that's it. Let me check on the back here. Almonds as well, it says, and pecans. So, oh, maybe that's a pecan. Oops, that's a pecan. I feel like this would be a great trail mix to have around. Sometimes it can be really hard to find allergy-friendly trail mixes just because they usually include some kind of chocolate or like M&Ms or something. And those usually contain milk. So 26 ounces of it and you get it for $9.50. Do you remember just a couple of quotes back when I grabbed those dark chocolate coconut nuggets? This is by the same brand. They are called Coconut Keto Clusters. So when I was talking about that I had had like the regular ones with just coconut, this is what I was talking about, except this is like a more fall version. They just had like a regular one. I'm sure this is very, very similar, but again, organic. It contains 
pecans, almonds, pumpkin seeds, definitely coconut. Here are your ingredients right back there. Gluten-free, of course, vegan-friendly, organic, and you get 16 ounces of it for just under $10. They have this cool little snack mix here that if you are not like looking out for any kind of allergies and you just want something fun to have on hand, I feel like this is different and fun. So it's called a Parm Crisp Sack Snack Mix. They have it in the flavor Ranch, which I feel like sounds really good. They've got 100% cheese crisps in there. You can see these are the cheese crisps. And then they have some dry roasted nuts as well. And then it looks like they're covered in like a ranch seasoning basically. It says it's keto friendly, which is awesome. It says before you eat it, you need to shake it and mix it up. I'm assuming some stuff in here settles. For 20 ounces, you <laughs> obviously, okay, for $14, you get 20 ounces. I'm having a hard time talking today, but here are the ingredients on the back. It contains milk and tree nuts, but I feel like this would be a great snack if you're looking for something a little bit different. I know there's some of you out there who love the RX bars so much. Um, we don't eat them because they contain eggs, but I love that their ingredients are like all clean. So you get 16 of them for $20, which I think is a pretty good deal for RX bars. I think they tend to run a little bit pricier, but in this box you get um, eight of the peanut butter chocolate, eight of the chocolate sea salt. The ingredients right there are the ingredients that are on the package. So great ingredients, especially if you're not looking out for eggs. I would definitely suggest picking some of these up for a little healthy snack to have on hand. If you're looking for snacks that are kind of like right down the middle for your kids, so they're not like crazy healthy, like strict ingredients, but they also aren't like Cheetos. And um, then you might love these Cliff Z bars. I know a lot of you guys have already heard of them before. I tried one a couple years back before we were, you know, gluten-free and all that. And they were actually very, very good. I was quite impressed. Um, you get 12 chocolate chip, 12 iced oatmeal cookies. That was my favorite one. And then 12 chocolate brownies in there. I know when I worked at a school, kids loved to bring these and they always ate them out of their lunches. So I'm assuming that says something. I love that they're organic. Their ingredients are pretty clean, but they do contain milk and wheat, things of that sort. But again, if you're not looking out for any kind of allergens or anything like that, this might be a great option for you. You get 36 of these bars in there for just under $18. Every time that I show you guys some kind of like pantry organization video, I get a lot of questions on where my Tupperware is from. And that's because I just have like one set of Tupperware and everything fits together. So it's never messy, which I love. And I get it from here at Costco, except this is not the exact set. This is, it's still made by Snapware and our tops are plastic, but we actually get the ones that the containers are glass. And I really love that because if you've ever microwaved like anything in plastic, especially marinara sauce, you know that it stains it. So I love that they stay looking nice as well as plastic in our dishwasher just never comes out looking as clean. So anyways, just thought I'd share this with you guys. They do have the plastic one in stock right now. They every so often kind of rotate through the plastic and the glass one. So $20, I believe the glass one is a little bit more expensive but you get a 38 piece set and we just use one set for our family and it's perfect. When I did my fridge organization a while back, I actually picked up this piece from here. This is the four piece kitchen bin set. You get all of these clear organizers right here for $20 and I've loved using them in our fridge. This one right here is like a can holder so that your cans just dispense out like they normally would like from a box, except you don't have to look at the ugly box. You can see them being used in the fridge right there. Honestly, I've loved them. They've held up great. 20 bucks is a great deal for them. I love them. We are in the market for new pots and pans. And I gotta be honest with you, I have not done enough research yet to know what we really want. I know every time I do any kind of research, All Clad keeps popping up as being a really great brand, but I never knew that they had non-stick. Personally, I think we're trying to stay away from non-stick just because right now the non-stick that we have is actually flaking, which makes it very toxic. Um, so I think we're trying to stay away from non-stick, but in case you love nonstick. I love nonstick too. <laughs> um, you can get this all clad 13 piece cookware set for just under $400 here. I know that sounds insane, but if you are familiar at all with the all clad brand, you know that this is actually a pretty good deal for 13 pieces of them. They usually sell like one individual piece for like a hundred dollars. So definitely a great deal. They have some other options here as well, like this stainless steel set by Tramatina. Um, I have no idea if this is a good brand. I'm assuming it's kind of like a cost effective brand. Just looking at the price, looks like it's going away here soon, which is what the asterisk means. So once everything on the shelf is gone, they're not restocking it just under $50 and you get a six piece sauce pot set. And they also have these Tefal titanium nonstick fry pan sets right here. Again, we're trying to stay away from the nonstick, but this is a great deal. If you just need some new frying pans on hand, 
for 25 bucks, you get three of them. I feel like that's an awesome deal. Stainless steels is one of the options that we are actually looking at. The only thing I hate is how much things stick to them. I'm trying to find anything that's like not non-stick, but still is non-stick. Does that even make sense? But if you are looking for some kind of stainless steel set, I've actually heard incredible things about the Kirkland one compared to the all clad one. Like as in people have bought both and they love the Kirkland one. So I've been looking at review sites for days and days, but they have this 10 piece five ply cookware set. It comes with six pans and four lids and it is just under $200. It's by the Kirkland brand. So definitely a lot cheaper than the all clad brand. Might be something to look into if you're looking to replace your entire set of pots and pans. I love Costco's return policy so you can always return it. If you're looking more for, again, non-stick, they also have these Gotham Pro ones here. I know people who love these and swear by them. They're made with ceramic and titanium. They have an induction base, which is great for those induction stoves when you have to buy induction specific pans that can be really hard to find sometimes for a good deal. But you get a two pack of these for $39.99. No butter or oil needed. I'm sure you guys have seen these advertised everywhere. It's basically like where they cook the egg and the egg just slides off and they didn't put any butter in there. Anyways, they're oven safe up to 400 degrees. They have a cool touch handle, which I love because a lot of times with these like um, stainless steel handles, they are hot to the touch and you have to use a pot holder. And then of course, induction base. They are PTFE free, PFOS free and PFOA free, which is awesome. So parchment paper right now is on a limit for one. I'm assuming it's because of the holidays. I don't know if people are getting crazy with their parchment paper or what. I've never seen them have a limit on it, but you get two of these guys right here. They last forever, I swear for $10, literally $9.99. And I just keep these in my food storage. So I recently just used my last one so I don't have any backups on hand. And we use this literally every day. So I'm gonna grab another one of those guys. And then while I'm here, we actually need some foil. You can see the foil up there. You get two rolls right there for just under $18. And I love that I can keep these in my food storage as well. I don't really go through foil too much because I do find that things still stick to it. but for keeping things warm, like wrapping things up like in a nine by 13 pan or something like that, you always need foil on hand. For some reason, paper towels and toilet paper are still on shortage. So um, these are the only paper towels that we have left here. They are the ones by Bounty, which we use them and they're very, very similar to the Kirkland brand one. So just wanted to let you know, you can still like adjust the size and stuff, which I love because we like using like the smaller sizes and they're still very absorbent like the Kirkland ones. So I am trying to debate if I need another one of these. I might need to call Derek and see if we need some at home because we use paper towels every day, but just wanted to let you know. Wanted to share these face masks. I think we'll be wearing face masks for quite a while longer. Um, you get 600 of these masks for just under $100. So it's the $94.99 right there. I know that seems kind of crazy, but if you've ever bought in like an individual pack of masks that has like 10 masks in them, you know that these are like a pretty good deal. So especially if you guys have multiple people in your fam family, these I would say are like a one-time use. You just throw them away afterwards. So if you prefer that, I feel like this is a great deal. You guys know this has been a staple for us the past couple of times that I've been to Costco and we've gone through a jar of this every single time in between our Costco trips. It's called the Organic Jack's Cantina Salsa. It's rated as a medium heat, definitely not a medium heat. Logan eats it by the spoonful. If you're new here, Logan is our 17 month old son and he doesn't love a ton of spice. So he loves this salsa. Gonna grab one of those guys and let's see, you get 48 ounces of it for $6.49. You need to keep it refrigerated though. It is not shelf stable. Grabbing one of their rotisserie chickens right back here. I love having these on hand and then chopping them up in order to put them in the freezer. And then you just take them out whenever you need them for soups or tacos, whatever you're making that night. And it is a super easy, quick meal to have on hand. You get an entire rotisserie chicken for $4.99. I know some of you guys who watch my channel are either vegan or vegetarian. So I just wanted to share, they do have impossible burgers right here, kind of in the form of like ground beef. It looks like you get two one pound packs. So two pounds for $16.99. I feel like that's a great deal, especially if you're wanting to make something different. The only time I've ever seen these like this, I don't think I've ever seen them packaged like this, only ever in like already made burger form. So that could be kind of cool. I'm in the milk section and I just wanted to show you real quick because I never come in here, but they do carry organic milk. They have 1%, they have 2% as well. Three half gallons come in both of those boxes. You get them just for about $10 each. They also have this A2 organic whole milk right here for $10.99. 
you get three half gallons in there as well. They have this Dairy Gold Fit Organic Milk, which has 14 grams of protein and 40% less sugar. So in case you're watching that, it's ultra filtered, it's lactose free. Uh, $10.89 for three half gallons of that as well, it's 2%. They also have this A2 Milk, which is vitamin D added and ultra pasteurized, $9.99 and you get three cartons that are 59 fluid ounces a piece. Then they also have this organic silk almond milk, the original flavor, 50 calories per serving, and then you get three of the half gallons for that one as well for just under $9. It's like they knew I was coming shopping today because they put the organic ground turkey and the organic chicken breast right next to each other. I always typically grab one pack of each of these. I throw into the freezer whatever we're not using and then just defrost like whenever we're ready to use it for the meal. But honestly, we love these and they're way cheaper priced than at the regular store. I just threw a pack of these organic Fuji apples right into the cart here. I am so excited to eat those. I prefer the Honeycrisp, but they don't have any Honeycrisp here. I love that they have organic apples for such a great price though. Right now, it looks like they're all $2 off, or actually the galas are $1 off. You can also get regular gala Fuji or Envy. We grabbed the organic Fuji ones right there, and they seem pretty crisp, so I'm hoping they turn out well. I have shared this before, but if you're vegan, vegetarian, you're looking out for allergens, then you know dates are in a lot of these like vegan recipes. And honestly, we love dates. So I think I actually might pick some of these up this time and make my peanut butter filled dates. The way that I do that is I just slice them lengthwise. I take out the pit and then I fill them with like peanut butter or sunflower butter, whatever you want. And then some chocolate chips on top, you freeze them in like a single layer and they are awesome. You can eat them straight from the freezer. Dates will stay a lot better if you keep them in the refrigerator or the freezer. They'll stay better longer and they just become a little bit chewier. So if you like dates, they have these organic medjool dates here for $12 for two pounds of them. They last seriously forever. We're gonna grab some mangoes as well here. The only option they have here right now are these organic mangoes, six count, five and a half pounds, basically for $9. Um, I've been loving to have mangoes as a midnight snack baby has been craving some tahini, so I just cut up the mango and throw some tahini on it. If you follow me on Instagram, I did like a really quick tutorial on how to easily cut a mango the other day. It's so much easier than you think. So if you need to see that again, leave it down in the comments for me. I'll, I'm happy to show it to you guys again. The way you know if a mango is good, you can see this one is kind of getting a little bit juicy on the stem. It's definitely ripe and ready to go. Or if you can feel it and it's like a little bit squishy, then it's ready as well. We're grabbing some of this organic gold kiwi. I guess you could also keep it cold if you want, but technically you're still supposed to keep it at room temperature. Actually it says right here, store at room temperature until it's ripe and then you can refrigerate it. But Logan literally eats this with the peel on. He loves them so much. So $6.99, two pounds of it, and it's a great source of vitamin C. You'll know when they're ripe is when they're just a little bit um, squishy on the outside. They'll kind of change color a little bit too. They won't be so green like that, but we're gonna grab a thing of these. We need to grab some bananas today. Just one pack will do us this time. Usually I buy two or three packs and then whenever they start to get a little bit spotty, I will just cut them up and throw them in the freezer for smoothies or things like that. But basically you get three pounds of bananas for $1.50. I think actually these guys right on top look good. It looks like they're gonna be ripe here shortly, which is what we need. I saw a really, really simple salad recipe. It doesn't contain any kind of lettuce, just a bunch of veggies and like some white wine vinegar and some oil on Earthy Andy's Instagram. I love her stuff. She posts a lot of great like vegan and allergy friendly recipes. And I'm gonna grab some of these organic cucumbers, which are in her little salad that she made for $6.50. You get three of them. And I'm just gonna be looking to make sure they're not too squishy. When a cucumber is squishy is when it's already gone bad because they contain a lot of water. If you're trying to keep them really nicely, like already peeled in the fridge, like in the refrigerator and like ready to go, you would wrap them in a paper towel and then seal them into a bag or a Tupperware, something like that. And they'll stay better a lot longer. Also going to be grabbing this bag of bell peppers right here, $8.99 for six counts of them. I wish they were organic, but they're not. So we're just gonna make do with what we've got here, but I'm making stuffed peppers this week, which I showed you guys in the beginning of the video with my meal plan. So we definitely need some bell peppers. Organic strawberries are a must for us whenever we are here and they have them. They are two pounds for $10.99, which is kind of a crazy price, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna grab these guys. Whichever ones don't look moldy, you're looking for no white mold spots or anything like that. 
no berries that have already been crushed because then anything that's touching the berry that has already gotten juice on everything, it's gonna get everything else moldy. Logan is going to be so happy they have organic raspberries, so I'm definitely grabbing some. They have literally just this carton left. So I'm gonna grab one of these guys and he will love them. Make sure you don't wash raspberries until you are absolutely ready to eat them. They will mold on you so fast, like within hours. Coming over here to the organic mushrooms, y'all know I can't leave here without like at least two packs of these because Derek goes through them so fast. They are a great deal. Organic Baby Bella mushrooms, 24 ounces. It's a really big package for just under $5. I just chop up an entire package of these at one time. I don't wash them beforehand wash them like whenever you're ready to use them and pat them dry and then I just keep them in like a Ziploc baggie and they're super easy ready to use makes things a lot easier and you can throw them in quickly these organic blueberries are huge and I love that so 18 ounces for $6.99 for some organic blueberries I'm either gonna grab one or two of these guys we can go through blueberries really quickly I will pre-wash blueberries because we go through them so fast put them in a bowl after they've been washed and dried Put a paper towel like under the blueberries before you put them in the bowl too. That'll help um, wick up any extra moisture and prevent them from getting moldy even quicker. And I just keep them in the, in the fridge like where Logan can reach them and he'll reach in and grab like a handful of blueberries whenever he wants them. Going to grab some of these organic celery sticks. They're honestly just a great price here. Easy way to beef up your meals too, especially like soups and stews or anything like that. Uh, you get two and a half pounds for $5.79. Also, if you want a really quick snack, if you've never heard of these, I'm sure most of you guys have, but just cut these celery sticks into thirds. You're gonna place them in some foil, and then you're going to put some peanut butter in them. You can put raisins on top, craisins, uh, chocolate chips, whatever you want, or a mixture of all three, and then wrap them up in your foil. They're ready to go to work, and you've got a really fun and easy snack. I am back for my 13 pound box of oranges. Yes, we already went through them that quickly. We go through this box in about two weeks. Logan will eat three oranges on his own a day. So I'm gonna grab a box of these guys. Sometimes they move these guys around on me and I'm glad I ran into this on my way to find it because I don't think it would be down the aisle still. I don't know, could be wrong, but we've got some spin drift here. You get 30 cans for $15.59. My least favorite flavor in there is grapefruit, but they also have lemon and raspberry lime. And honestly, this is the best price for spin drift. So, if you're looking for some kind of sparkling water that has like some squeezed, like actual fruit in it, like the raspberry lime is like pink because it has raspberries in it, like actual raspberries. They've got great ingredients um, and they're just a little bit more flavorful than regular like seltzer water. We go through this bacon probably like once every two months. You get four one pound packs in there for $14.99 and it is so good. I don't know why, but I can never seem to find another brand that's as good as this Kirkland bacon. They do also have a low sodium option, but we just go for the regular option. I don't really know why. <laughs> okay, it's time for my frozen feature of the day of things that I wish I could still eat and the baby is craving, but I can't because it's got way too many allergens in it. These are made with wheat, obviously, but they are these Ling Ling pot stickers. I swear they've carried these things for like, probably 15 years here. I, I've been eating them forever. So what, 68 ounces about for 10.50. And then you also get the sauce with them as well. They're super easy to make. I think I was making these from age like 12 on. They have the directions on the back, ready in 10 minutes. They are so good. If you like to make turkey sandwiches and you're looking for a good turkey that doesn't have a lot of water added, because I hate, hate, hate when you buy pre-packaged turkey and it has the water in the package for some reason that grosses me out so badly. We have tried this one several times over and we've loved it. We've continued to buy it. It's by the brand Columbus and it is the herb roasted turkey breast. It is so good, you guys. About $15, you get two pounds of it around there. They're kind of like individually cut, so you kind of have to look at individual prices, but it's $7.49 a pound and it is so good. I just picked up a two pack of this organic orange juice. I've never bought orange juice here before, but I'm sure it's great. The only ingredients are organic orange juice. So I'm all about that. Um, we've wondered if like the reason he loves the 13 pounds of oranges that we get is just the juice inside. So we're gonna try it. And I like orange juice anyways, so we'll definitely drink it. Um, it does need to stay refrigerated like most juices. You get two 59 ounce bottles for $8.79. You know, every time we come here, we have to get these shredded cheese. And I usually love that these Kirkland brand ones. Well, I say I love them. Derek loves them. I do not eat any kind of dairy. You get two, two and a half pound bags for 16 dollars 
I was really, really hoping to find some kind of organic cheese here, but the only organic cheese that they have right now that's shredded is this queso, quesadilla, like Mexican style shredded cheese. And I don't think my boys would like that. Logan has recently started eating cheese and he loves the shredded cheese. So I think we'll just grab a bag of these guys. They also do carry some Tillamook medium cheddar here that is also shredded. You also get two, two and a half pound bags for just the same price as you would get these guys, but it's a thick cut. Otherwise I would try it, but I don't think my boys will like the thicker ones. I don't know why, I just don't think they will. <laughs> Typically if I change things up on them too much, they won't eat it. So I'm just gonna grab what I know they like, um, which is this guy right here. We, we switch between this one and the red one. We really don't taste a difference between the two. That one's just a Mexican style blend and this one's a Cheddar Jack cheese blend. And I just do whichever one's cheaper. I've told you about this massive jar of minced garlic before <laughs> and we finally need a new one. I bought the last one probably over a year ago. It lasts us forever. And obviously mincing your own garlic is better. It's definitely got more health benefits for you, but sometimes us busy mamas just need a little shortcut. So I like to keep this, it's pretty big. You definitely need room for it in your fridge because it has to stay refrigerated. It's 48 ounces though for under $5. Like you cannot beat it. We have been going through this marinara sauce so fast. I'm literally going to buy four of these today. Um, you get two 28 ounce jars. They're the Rouse marinara sauce for just under $11. It's a great deal, especially if you've ever tried to buy this in like a regular grocery store. You know, it's way cheaper here. You know, I always get this shelf stable salsa for Derek. It's his favorite one. It is the organic salsa. It's heat is medium on it. I would say this is more true to a medium than the Jack's Cantina salsa that I also grabbed is. Um, but these guys are shelf stable. I love that. I just throw them in to our food storage if I can get them in here. And you get two 38 ounce jars for $7.79. We're in need of some oil. I'm almost out of this exact oil that we keep at home. It's this avocado oil. I love it because it does definitely have like a mild flavor. It's just a lot better for you, but uh, especially over like canola oil or anything like that. But I, I don't know. We just really, really like it. It stays out on the counter. It's like a nice looking bottle. It's not too bad. Love that it has a high heat though. So anytime I was cooking with olive oil, I was almost burning all of our stuff but this definitely keeps it <laughs> a little less burnt. So anyways, you get a liter of 100% pure avocado oil for 10.79. Last time I was here, you guys were saying that you wished yours also had as many bean options. I didn't know that it wasn't like standard, but anyways, they have these organic red kidney beans here and we go through kidney beans so fast. I make a lot of soups and chilies and they usually contain something like this, even like Chili Max, you get eight cans of this for $6.99, which is a great deal. And I usually have these guys on hand, but I actually just ran through all of our kidney beans. So I'm gonna grab one of these. Just passed by this and thought it was really cool, especially if you guys don't have any allergies. You might love these. They have these little pizza kits here. It says it includes the storage bag, it bakes in eight minutes, and it has the tomato sauce packets, which you can see right in here. They're organic, which I love that. You've got four um, pizza crusts and four tomato sauce pouches but I feel like that would be an easy weeknight dinner with like the crust already being, being made and you guys can just make pizzas together. I don't know, it sounds like a fun family night to me. You guys know we love to make homemade pizza and I make it at least once, maybe even twice a week, $8.99 for those guys. Definitely grabbing another box of these guys. I just keep it down in the food storage. It comes with two bags in here. These are the almond flour crackers by Simple Mills. I have tried other things by Simple Mills and didn't really love them, but these are incredible, especially if you have allergies or even if you just like to eat things that have whole ingredients. These are all the ingredients right here. They do contain almonds, so in case you're allergic, but $8.99 and you get two of the bags in there. All right, you guys are looking at the final cart here. So many fresh fruits and veggies in here. I love to see that. You guys know that's like my favorite thing ever. Let's start with the bottom here. We've got organic kidney beans, 13 pounds of oranges, and we have a big case of spin drift down there. Up here, we've got some parchment paper, some foil. We have some organic chicken breast, organic ground turkey, and a rotisserie chicken under there. We have some shelf stable salsa. We have four things of the Rouse marinara sauce. We have some 100% avocado oil right here. We've got some organic blueberries, the dark chocolate nuggets, fresh dates that are also organic, and then the layered fruit bars down there. We've got the Jack's Cantina Salsa. We have some organic raspberries, organic strawberries, two things of organic mushrooms, 
And then down on the bottom here, we have two of these organic gold kiwi fruits, which are also under the strawberries right there. We have some organic mangoes. We've got some bell peppers, some organic celery. And then under the organic mangoes, we have the organic Fuji apples, organic cucumbers right here, some bananas. And then up here at the top, we've got some shredded cheese. We've got some minced garlic, some organic orange juice by the Kirkland brand, the Simple Mills almond flour crackers, and a pack of bacon. Holy cow, you guys, $357. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what to say other than shopping organic, shopping allergies, shopping with good ingredients is more expensive. But I do have a budget video coming for you guys soon. So stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed and have your notification bells turned on so that you can see that video. Make sure you give this one a thumbs up and comment down below with any of your prayer requests or favorite Costco items, or even if you just wanna say hi, hi back. <laughs> okay, see you guys later, bye.